Here's Nadia, my Nandu Karmatis, the white striped bird eater. Four and a half inch female. Ooh, love it. Jolly good show. One of my most favorite species in my collection is the Pocotheria bara, the ivory lowland ornamental. And you can see why I love this species so much. Simply because it's very unique colored. Like totally subdued black, which is pretty uncommon. you seen in most pokies like your P. regalis, your P. fasciata, and the P. vitata. Charmaine, she's like a fully grown six and a half inch female. Another gorgeous specimen, a Pocotheria formosa. Salem ornamental, a name Salem. She's gonna catch it. Let's see. Oh yeah, hundred percent. There we go. Good girl. Let's see. That's what she looks like. Purplish tinge on her carapace. Zangry bird Stella. <laughs> uh, Cyclosternum fasciatum, Costa Rican tiger rump. I'm sure she's due for a feeding since he freshly molted maybe a few weeks ago All right, let's see what happens oh yes she's back baby a lovely female for the girls. Here's Ebony, a big monstrous female, Gramsola pulchra, Brazilian black. Another T that is very, very fast. with huge, huge, huge fangs. Here's a giant Panama Blonde, Cerico Palma Rebronitans, named Roberta. That definitely sees that super. Knows it's there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is rose hair number three. Uh, this is Michaela, a normal form. Oh, there we go. See, with rose hairs, they're very, very finicky, and they're very picky, and fussy ears. Sometimes they'll eat, sometimes they won't. It's just normal for them to fast. Uh, Michaela hasn't eaten in the past uh, two or three months, and, you know, I just keep offering food as usual, and just by the luck of the draw, she'll, she decided that, okay, it's time to eat, and that's about it. So don't worry if your rosea will eat for several months. It's just normal phase what they do. They're very slow growing species. They come from the desert scrubbons of Chile. So uh, they've adapted to this behavior even in captivity. So I know it's very annoying and, and it's worrisome for uh, new owners that buy these specimens. But yeah, something you have to, have to expect from these species. Ah, the good old hobby classic, Brachypelma smithy, Mexican red knee. So this is Athena, my 5-inch girl. Oh. What a good girl. 
Yeah, that's a little piece of for the old molds. That'll just remove there. And there you are. Awesome. Alright, Scarlet, do your stuff. It's my other Rodney. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is one good looking smithy. Yeah, a little bald spot, but nothing to worry about. She's strong like an ox. The largest specimen that I have in my collection up to date is my big Therophosa Sturmy Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Her name is Gretel. She's about 9 or 10 inches. Really, really huge. Usually for these guys, give them about two superworms since they're an exceptionally large one. And her abdomen is getting there in size. Alright, this is my Babicurus Gigas, the giant rusty thick tail scorpion. Impressive stinking going on there. Yeah. I love it. It's actually, I think, the second time where I actually see the scorpion eat in front of my eyes. So, pretty cool. And especially, it's really awesome that I got it on video, too. Cool. Alright, here's Vinny, a giant vinegaroon. Mastigoproctus giganteus. Yeah, there we go. That was real quick. It's been a while since you last seen my little cute female. Unfortunately, that she laid infertile eggs. But an incredible arachnid. Alright, here's another scorpion. This one is my Hadogenes Possidens, which is known as the Flat Rock. They get exceptionally large for Flat Rock scorpions, uh, 7 to 8 inches in length is pretty common for these ones. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Aw. See, she's just so incredibly lazy. But, hey. Not bad. Three scorpions in one feeding video. Sweet. And I still have my Tidious Stemurus and Androctonus Spycaller to film. Right, now back to teas. This one here is my other B Abopolis that I got from Logan Daily. Uh, this is Aragog. A juvenile female. A little bit more defensive than Curly Sue. But certainly has quite better appetite than her. And this one here is my Orphanaceous Philippinus. The Filipino Orange. This one here is a suspect male. Grew really quickly in the two years that I've owned this one. Megaphibema robustum, the Colombian giant red leg.
very hungry eater. Hopefully this one is a female. If it's a female, I'm going to name this one Layla. If it's a male, George would be a perfect name for her, this one. This one here is a Formictopus platus, the Caribbean island bird eater. Snap. <laughs> This one here is a Thrixel Palma Prurians, Chilean Green Velvet. That I got from Sturmy76. Not a problem. Here's Rose here, number four. This is my red form named Morris Rose. This guy eats like a savage. And I'll prove to you. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Way better than any rose hair that I had. Well, except that new one. Here's Haplopus species Columbia Large. Uh, this is called the Pumpkin Patch. I could tell that she recently molted. Ooh, holy cow. Oh yeah, she was definitely hungry. Oh yes, as you can see, definitely she put a lot more size onto her. Uh, still about an inch and a half. Leon, my male Brachypalma erratum, Mexican flamey. Hang on, Cricket is on the loose. Not anymore. Oh, there we go. Just love how my teeth attack. And you can see why they're called the Mexican Flame Knee. This one right here is one of my favorite Pamphibetia species. This one is a Ecuadorian purple pink femur, Pamphibetius ultramarinus. I think I'm going to be calling this one Lauren, because I believe that it could be a suspect female. Once again, it's a Pamphibedius, so you can expect them to eat like horses. Alright, let's try Trinity, my Vicularia Versicolor, and Tilly's Pink Toe. <laughs> there we go. Very beautiful Avic, eh? Yeah, I'm saying hey because I am definitely Canadian. <laughs> oh, Vespa is certainly interested in eating. Oh, she looks... She knows that they're here. Yeah, I'm just teasing her. Don't worry. She's pretty soon. Now for some Samapoas. Now this one here is... My P. Erminia, Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Way down below. Oh, there we go. It really didn't keep catch out on film, but good eater. Here, my little baby, Euphopus Udeman, Emerald Skeleton. Took that one like a boss. Very good eater. Now, this one here is a Vitellius Parananiensis, the Argentinian brown bird eater. Okay, this is a two-inch female. All right, so I get myself one cricket. Oh, nice. As you would expect from a Vitellius species. This one here is my Salmopolis Cambridge eye, turned out chevron. This is that sling I've been ta talking to you about earlier. Ooh, nice. Alright, another Salmopolis. This is the last one in my collection. Oh! 
Love it. Sumopos Reduncus, the Costa Rican orange mouth. Not the most popular of the species next to the uh, Camarjai and Erminia, but these are definitely worth getting in your collection. I mean, you can see how superb these are. Cool. I'm happy. Oh, just missed this one here. Uh, this is my quarter to third inch Brachypalma vagans, Mexican red rump. This is how I feed spiralings. I just give them really small crickets. And they just do me proud. It's my Haplopalma lividum, cobalt blue. There we go. <laughs> nice trapter like effect. This video is for Rose. Um, you wanted to see if I had a mature female Styracrates gigas, the Cameroon Red Baboon. Well, uh, this is my big female uh, named Elena. Hopefully, uh, we'll see if I can get her to come out. Huh. And there she is. Fully grown female. Now it's Espa's turn. She is my female hypo yellow leopard gecko. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. So we'll see. She responds to tongue feeding. Come on. Wow, she's really healing. Here we go. I usually feed my gecko at least twice a week with two supers. The way she's going to be as strong and healthy. Come on, you know what? You got it. Din din din. Come on, you missed. There we go, good girl. I mean, look at her eyes. Snake eyes. Yeah, you know what? Try for number three. Good girl. Mmm. Super. So. Yeah, it did a Homer Simpson there. Mmm, she loves it. Well, that's enough for you. Demarchus species Indonesia. This is the Golden Knee Trapdoor. Come on. There. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's what they look like. This is the last golden heat trapdoor that I have. Demarcha species, Indonesia. Oh, I think I just saw that one. I know it's right there. Oh, yes it is. We know what's there. <laughs> yep. Cool. All my trapdoors ate except for that Madagascar one. Right, last shelf. Starting with my final LP. Uh, this is Daniela. Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Sweet. Alright, this is my last rose here. This is Talia, who's been fasting every so often. Oh. Can't believe she's got her appetite back. That's really cool.
Uh, I guess not interested. Now, I just want to show you what my hamster is doing. If you have, if you're hearing this right now, yeah, I got a lot of errors on my computer. <laughs> this is my hamster. This is what she's doing. I did give her some, you know, a chew toy and sticks, and but she just keeps biting the cage. <laughs> I mean, it's gone to a point where it's so bad that I actually have to move her to a different room because I have trouble sleeping at night. Yes, you keep me up all night, Naya. Naughty, naughty girl. Anyway, let's go back to the teas. Wait, tap, 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 tap. Tap Gigas. Orange tree spider. It's a Tapnikinia species. This is Barb, my female. Just over uh, three inches. You can just barely see her in her webbing. And Don Manuel looks to be pretty busy. This is my suspect male Cuban bronze, Formictopus auratus. very strong eater. This one here is my unidentified bracket palma species. Possibly could be a Kalenbergi or Verdesi. Seriously, that's a pretty good eater. <laughs> cool. Can't wait to see this one grow up and see what we can finally identify it as. Ready, spawn from hell. <laughs> Well, uh, this is Isabel, my last peak in Ceres. I mean, these teas are really easily pissed off. Oh, come on, really? You're not going to show us how good you eat? Can't forgive you if you don't to show me. I think her primary focus is to have more freedom. This one here is a hybrid pokey. I uh, cross between a ornata and a vatata. <laughs> ornata and a vatata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Oh, ready, this is Amy. Yep, and a, another lazy bum, just like Allison, my peacemithy. That's what she looks like, or he. A Pocotheria Hanamavila Simica, Remish Warm Ornamental. This is the other one that could be a suspect female. Lovely. Focotherius triata, the Mysore ornamental. That's my little spiraling. Ain't no problem. P. tigrinuaselli, the Wessel tiger ornamental. Beautiful. Alright, uh, this one here is the Nithopus Morenus, the skeleton. This is a three quarter inch specimen now. Starting to get slowly their patterns. And barely make out the skeleton pattern on the front legs that they will have as their adults or even at their juvie stage. This is a Titius stigmurus, uh, the slender black scorpion with a venom level 4 out of 5. 
So this one is almost an adult. I'm not sure how big these scorpions get. Oh, 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 oh yes! Oh my god! I mean, this is probably one of the best feeding videos I've done so far regarding my scorpions. I've never actually seen, like, that many eat in front of my camera. I mean, you got my uh, Bigias eating, you got my one of my Deathstalkers eating, you got this one eating, uh, my H. Posidens. Uh, the only one I didn't get to film is the Jacksoni, which wasn't really interested in eating, but... Awesome. I thank Angelo for giving me these lovely species. Okay, that leaves us with one more scorpion. And dropped in a spike collar, the African black fat tail scorpion. I mean, if this one eats, we're all set. Okay, so I'm going to be removing this. There it is. Uh, this is a male, pretty large male at that. I find the sand that I used, Midnight Black, blends in with the scorpion. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, no way. Guess not. Oh well. Alright, this one here is Peach. My Grandma Sola Poker Piece, Chocolate Goldie. This is the last one. Wendy wasn't featured because I uh, wasn't really interested in eating as much as uh, Charlotte was. Okay, last two, and I saved the best for last. Tapidikinius Elenai, which is the gold tree spider, suspect female. <laughs> and I saved the best for last, hopefully. My last tea I'll be featuring in the feeding video is a Tapanikinius latipeeps. Oh, yes. The ghost tree spider. Okay, I love the way this guy hunts. See that? Watch this. Plump. <laughs> Hmm, puts a smile every time I look at this one. And this one actually looks to be a confirmed female from, from my ventral shot. And again, it's not really totally accurate, but anyway, it's doable. Awesome. So, this concludes the tarantula feeding video 117. I mean, it took me at, what, I started at 9.30, now it's 3.24 a.m., so roughly four and a half, almost five hours to feed every single invert I find, and you do have a pretty good variety in there, if I do say so myself. Now, for a short clip of Maggie, the hamster, and the guinea pigs, as well as the hermit crab. Alrighty, how can I not forget this one? I actually forgot her in my previous installment. This is Maggie, my nine, oh sorry, ten year old female Chih Tzu. Sit. Paw. Good girl. Other paw. Roll over. Roll over. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't half ass it. Sit. Sit. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over, come on! Roll over! Roll over! Yeah, sit! High five! Roll over! Come on, roll over! Yeah. Like all other shitsus, she's pretty stubborn. <laughs> Alrighty, so, as always, I'd like to include my little furry friends. 
This is my Russian dwarf hamster. Named Naya. <laughs> it's just so cute like that. Actually, she's pretty friendly. There we go. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's adorable. All right, my two guinea pigs now. Leah and Haley. My Silky. She's got so much hair on her. Again, really friendly. And there's uh, Leah, she's my female Abyssinian. Very, very cute. Need a haircut. <laughs> Do you want their close-ups? Aw, cute. Are your close-ups? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Adorable. And let's check up on my hermit crab. See how he's doing. Uh, you can probably see he's over there doing well. Awesome. Alright everyone, so that concludes I think possibly the best video I've done so far. So you got a lot of inverts, especially you know, this is probably the very first video I mean, you can even in a while that you actually seen more than one scorpion eat on camera. I was really surprised uh, that I got so many nice turnouts from my scorpions. But anyways, hope you liked the video everyone. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids.